Within this video, we're going to look at an evaluate question. It requires candidates to evaluate the suitability of the three options, Kensington, Nationwide and Halifax, and recommend the most appropriate provider for Harry, considering the information in the case study. A question such as this would be worth 15 marks plus an additional 5 for spelling, punctuation and grammar. An evaluate question means students must give a verdict as to what extent a statement or findings within a piece of research are true, or to what extent you agree with them. Candidates should make a justified recommendation or conclusion which sums up the main points being discussed and weighs up the benefits and drawbacks of what is being considered. Fully and logically justify how you have made your choice or decision. In order to hit the top mark boundaries for these 15 marks, students should put a clear recommendation, all three mortgages must be evaluated to an excellent level, and there will be an appreciation of the significance of all the features of the mortgages, and or excellent and justified use of calculations, and or further evaluation of all the features of the three mortgages. In order to hit the top mark boundary for the spelling, punctuation and grammar marks, students should ensure that the readability of the response is high, and although there may be minor errors, full marks therefore can still be awarded. Candidates spell, punctuate and use the rules of grammar with consistent accuracy, and where required they use a wide range of specialist terms. So, what could the evaluation include? Starting with Kensington. Points 4. 40 year initial mortgage deal. Harry wants a long term mortgage deal. Inflation will mean that the monthly repayment of 1189 will be of significantly less value in several decades time than today. Harry is able to budget his mortgage payments for the next 40 years. This may help him pay towards his pension plan and be in a better position to be able to fund his early retirement. Despite the highest initial fee out of the three providers, Harry will only have to pay an initial fee once if he chooses to go with Kensington's 40-year deal, whereas he may have to pay a number of fees if he goes with another provider and chooses to remortgage in the future once the initial mortgage deal expires. Overpayments are allowed up to 10% without a charge. Making use of overpayments could bring Harry's mortgage term down substantially. Overpayments are allowed up to 10% without a charge. Overpayments mean that Harry would be paying less interest overall to the provider. However, points against. Kensington has the highest interest rate, although this is to be expected for a mortgage deal of this length. With Kensington, Harry would pay 14268 in monthly repayments to Kensington over the first year of the mortgage term, and £71,340 over the first five years of the mortgage term. Kensington also has the highest initial fee and the highest monthly repayment in the initial term, which of course is 40 years. If Harry exceeds the overpayment allowance, then he will be subject to an early repayment charge. Coming on to Nationwide then, the points for 10-year initial term provide more certainty than the 5-year term that Halifax offers. The interest rate of 4.09% is better than the interest rate offered by Kensington, who only offer 4.76%. Harry would pay £12,960 in monthly repayments to Nationwide over the first year of the mortgage term and £64,800 over the first five years of the mortgage term. The initial fee for Nationwide is actually £500 less than the initial fee charged by Kensington, and Nationwide also provide £500 cash back on completion. Overpayments are allowed up to a certain limit, and making use of these could bring Harry's mortgage term down substantially. They would also mean that overpayments would be paying less interest overall to Nationwide. On the flip side, points against, the 10-year initial term provides less initial certainty than the 40-year initial term that Kensington offer. There's an early redemption penalty with Nationwide, 
if the mortgage is paid off in full in the initial term. The initial fee is £4 more than the initial fee charged by Halifax, but we could say that's rather negligible under the circumstances. And the final point against Nationwide is the interest rate after the initial deal, which is of course 10 years, reverts to 5.24%. This is higher than the 4.75% offered for the duration of Kensington's 40-year deal. Moving on to Halifax, the points for the interest rate of 3.92% is better than the interest rate offered by Kensington and Nationwide. Harry would pay 12,636 in monthly repayments to Halifax over the first year of the mortgage term, and 63,180 over the first five years of the mortgage term. Both of these substantially lower than the other two providers. The initial fee with Halifax is £504 less than the initial fee charged by Kensington, and is £4 less than that charged by Nationwide, although the difference really is negligible. And finally, the points for Halifax is that there's £250 worth of cashback on completion. On the other hand, points against for Halifax, the five-year initial term provides less certainty than both the 40-year initial term that Kensington offer and the 10-year term that Nationwide offer. The interest rate after the initial deal reverts to 5.24%, which is higher than that offered by Kensington, and more than that offered by Nationwide. The early repayment penalty, if the mortgage is paid off in full in the initial term, is also a point against Halifax. Other points you may wish to consider are things like the initial mortgage deal and the interest rate after the initial deal. Harry would like to stay in his hometown long term. He also likes the principle of a fixed rate mortgage. He does not want a variable rate mortgage or a short term fixed deal as he does not want his payments to change if there is a shift in interest rates. However, a great deal can change in 40 years and if interest rates decrease to 2021 levels again, he would be locked into a 40 year deal with potentially high penalty fees for remortgaging. Whereas offers with Nationwide and Halifax would allow Harry to remortgage to a new deal once the initial deal has expired without penalty. Harry might overcome extra mortgage costs by taking on a lodger. Another relevant point you may wish to consider is the interest rate and monthly repayment in the initial term. A low monthly repayment in the initial term would help Harry to afford the cost of repairs and furnishing the property. It is often initially where the largest costs are spent. Harry's mortgage advisor recommended that he may be better off taking a short term fixed rate deal and then finding a better deal at the end of that period. Depending, of course, on the interest rates at the time. As we know, however, currently interest rates are increasing. However, Harry may not be as concerned as he has a secure, high paying job, and he may value peace of mind to a greater extent than lower repayments. Finally, another relevant point you may wish to discuss is the initial fee and, of course, the cashback. As the 60000 he is using to purchase the property is from an investment plan for him started by his parents, he may feel the pain of payment to a much lesser extent. And the initial fee amount and cashback are really negligible when taken in the context of the total mortgage term. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you found the content useful.